Hello everyone, hope you're all well wherever in the world today. Nadia Bajami, I'm also award winning trauma focused hypnotherapist, mind coach, psychic medium, intuitive development teacher and mentor, certified grief educator, certified and of live doula, and Reiki master, working primarily online and sharing my time between beautiful Ireland, France, and Switzerland. In today's video, I want to talk about trauma and the lack of safety. Trauma leaves an indelible mark on how we perceive the world around us and how we perceive ourselves as well. It often creates a profound sense of unsafety, as though the ground beneath us is sometimes perpetually unstable, actually. This feeling is not a weakness and it's not your fault. It's the brain and body's natural response to overwhelming experiences. Trauma rewires the brain and our nervous system, uh, making us hypervigilant, hyper alert to, to danger, even when there is no threat around us. And that's the point. The trauma brain tells us, you're not safe, be careful, be wary, you know, be ready. And that narrative can just shape on how we go through life, how we navigate life. Now, there is an empowering truth there. It's that healing begins by rediscovering safety. It sounds simple said like that. But safety is not just a concept. It's a felt experience in our body and our mind. It's the warm reassurance that you're okay in the present moment, right here, right now. To begin this journey, to bring ourselves back to safety, the first step is often the simplest and yet the most profound. It's really to pause and breathe. And then reconnect with the here and now, with our body, with our mind, with the here and now. Uh, and these small intentional baby steps signal to our nervous system that it's okay to step out, it's okay to relax, to step out of survival mode. And it's okay, as I said, to relax. Understand, I think it's really important to understand that healing from trauma, from traumatic experiences, is not about deleting the past, erasing the past, because we can't do that. But it's about reclaiming a sense of security and safety in the present moment. Surround yourself with environments, people and practices and nurture your sense of calm that bring you that sense of calm. Perhaps it's through grounding techniques, you know, I'll address that in another video. Uh, mindfulness, or simply placing your hand on your heart and using affirmation like, I am safe, I am okay, I am safe, I am okay. I'll talk about affirmation in another video as well because affirmation are not just simple statements. They can be extremely powerful tools to use on our trauma healing journey. Now remember, healing is not a linear, Okay, and you don't have to walk this path alone either. So seeking support is very important when you feel you need support. To be honest, I believe we all need a helping out at some stage on our healing journey. Seeking support, whether from a you know trusted friend, support group, a therapist, a coach, accredited people who can help you, can be a powerful, extremely powerful step re towards reclaiming uh, your sense of safety that you deserve, by the way, to create the life you want. And remember, you are not what happened to you, you're not your trauma. You are your strength, your resilience, and your ability to rebuild yourself, rebuild your life. Every step you take towards safety, towards that creating that sense of security, is a step towards freedom. That freedom from that prison of and safety. So trust the process because you are worth it and you can do this. So take care, everybody, and I hope you found this video useful. Feel free to follow my channels and comments and I always love to hear from you. Take care everybody. Bye bye.